and your resources in Korea. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a great honor to be invited here. Uh, our start. Our uh, talk about the current situation of endoscopic spine surgery. Let's find out what kind of change will happen in spine surgery and what can we do with uh, endoscopic in spine field. Uh, it's my disclosure, laminectomy, and foramenotomy for the stenosis was practiced during the beginning period of a new endoscope surgery. After that, there has been huge increase of significant advancement in endoscopic so, spine. Surgery. Excuse me, excuse me, the audio is terrible. Could we please fix it? Uh, Dr. Lim? In my all cases are 100% endoscopic surgery now. Endoscopic spine surgery provides a wealth of benefit for spine surgery and patients. We can perform operation with local anesthesia under the good visualization of endoscopy. Post operative infection rate is very rare even multiple level operation. Fusion surgery can be avoided with delicate neural decompression of endoscopy without damage of possible ligament complex. Not to damage and not to do detachment of a possible ligament complex in endoscope surgery are important factor in the maintenance of a spine stability is different from surgery. Uh, excuse me, uh, Dr. Lim. Audio is not good. Uh, uh, Dr. Lim, Dr. Lim, yes, good. the audio is not good. Um, is there any way we can improve it? Dr. Lim, can you give a lecture yes. rather than a recorded? You don't use the recorded version. You please talk with your slides. That may be better. Could you please turn the audio off and, and comment yourself? How is that? The sound? Yeah, no, Dr. Lane, can you yes. give a lecture? Don't use the recorded version. You talk. You use your slides and talk. Your recorded version is not clear. Agreed. Okay. Please change it, uh, my talk, my turn. Yes, you yes. talk now. Yeah, please talk on your lecture. Yeah, we'll, we'll just edit this. We'll just start okay. again. No, no recording, please. Okay, okay. Just by voice, your voice, uh, live, live. Can I change my turn? Yes, now it is okay. Dr. Lin, now it is okay. Okay, you can start. Because uh, I need to... Uh... Hey, no worry, no worry. Okay.
remove the records. Yes. Okay, it's okay? Hey, very uh, good. Okay, the, I will uh, talk about the current situation of endoscopic spine surgery in Korea. So, so what can we do with the endoscopic in spine field now? It's my disclose. So we uh, extended the uh, endoscopic surgery from the uh, stenosis uh, uh, laminectomy and discectomy, and uh, we can do the fusion surgery uh, transformer intraminal fusion for lumbar and the uh, HDF. So my the operation <coughs> in uh, the spine surgery is one hundred percent. Endoscope surgery. Sorry, my voice has changed due to the seasonal flu. It's okay. And you know <clears throat> the very well the, the advantage of endoscope surgery. You can do the endoscope surgery the, under the local anesthesia. And uh, uh, endoscope surgery that provide a good visualization and clean uh, due to we can use water irrigation. And uh, <clears throat> infection, post operative infection rate is very rare, uh, even though the multiple level, multiple pathology. And uh, <clears throat> you can do the endoscope surgery the way the less damage of a muscle and the facet joint and posterior ligament complex. <clears throat> and so, uh, most important thing is so we can preserve the posterior ligament complex is very important to uh, uh, keep the, uh, the spine curvature. And we can do endoscope surgery the, from the ipsilateral to contralateral decompression, like a journey from the, across the Nile River from the west to the, uh, the east. And the more important thing is endoscope so we have a 10 degree range angle. 10 degree range angle provide a, a more detailed so, uh, a surgical view so we can do the ipsilateral, ipsilateral decompression more easier than the wide range angle. And uh, we can save uh, the facet joint the preserved facet joint is very important. If we uh, turn the endoscope surgery, it's a, a total different uh, the side. And we can do ipsilateral decompression. And post operative MRI shows the uh, full, uh, quite enough decompression uh, with uh, uh, minimum bone work. <coughs> And we can say you can preserve facet joint and muscle. So we are the uh, the aging society. We can expect the uh, the frequency of uh, the spine surgery to increase with the age. And we have uh, uh, the the risk in case of uh, big open surgery, big open spine surgery the heart and brain and some the, uh, the, the problem under the general anesthesia and the big operation. As uh, the case, it's a one level <coughs> patient has the one level, the lumbar stenosis, L45, and with the endoscopy, we can decompression from ipsilateral to contralateral side without the bleeding. Post operative MRI shows full, quiet enough decompression. And the two level, L45, L5S1, we can do decompression with the safety. Post operative MRI shows the full decompression. It's a three level, two, three, three, four, four, five, three level decompression, three level stenosis. Post-operative MRI shows the quiet enough and the 
right after process, the patient can walk just with a seven millimeter scar. Just one skin port, we can do three level decompressions. It's the animation of a three level decompression with one skin port. It's a jumping technique. First the midline, and then we can do adjacent level one by one, three level. It's a jumping technique. It's my the paper about uh, endoscopic surgery for the lumbar stenosis. And the patient have uh, the four level central stenosis and the two level the foramen stenosis. What should we do? Do you want to perform the uh, fusion surgery? So we can do four level interlaminal approach, four level decompression with one skin port and two level foraminal foraminotomy with one skin port, another one skin port. So it's a, a uh, drain, the foraminotomy two drain and the interlaminal approach four drain. Patient have six craniators, six drain. Uh, if we, we can the, create the multiple tunnel for the lumbar stenosis, we can the, avoid the fusion surgery. But sometimes we have to, we, uh, we have to perform the fusion surgery like this. Patient have a, the unstable L45. It's uh, important. It, it's not impossible to uh, the treat for this patient with endoscopic decompression is uh, uh, we need to perform the fusion surgery. Post-operative X-ray MRI shows the stable and uh, we can do the uh, endoscopic uh, facetectomy and uh, discectomy. We can insert allobone graft and uh, the uh, implantation, the small skin scar. So the whole process means uh, the using by endoscopy, discectomy that you can use shave, and we can do allophon graft and the cage insertion. It's a final stage. It's an uh, endoscopic uh, the surgery to provide clean surgical view like this. The, from the <clears throat> four cent centimeter from the midline, we can do facetectomy and uh, uh, discectomy album graft and implantation. And uh, uh, we can insert the, the pedicle screw like this. Alabon graft and the cage insertion. The cross sectional area, sorry, so we can uh, post operate MRI shows the widen the spinal canal and uh, the direct indirect decompression. And the bone graft area, the ratio is. Uh, uh, better than the mini open surgery. And the disc height and the uh, segmental lumbar lordosis, bone graft error ratio, and the future rate is uh, the better than the mini open uh, tree. It's my paper about the comparative study of bone graft area and the future rate in uh, the unilateral uh, transparent interbody fusion between endoscope and uh, mini open surgery. And let's uh, uh, talk about the surgical cervical lesion. So we performed uh, uh, the uh, HDF and open posterior decompression for for foraminal stenosis and foraminal disc and the laminoplasty uh, for multiple level the OPLL. But we can do endoscopic uh, decompression for the cervical lesion. It's uh, the one level, 
the paracentral and foraminal disc. You can do the foraminotomy and we can expose, decompress the root, cervical root, postulatic well, compressions. It's a motor root, sensory root, like this. The frame is uh, the located just below the facet joint. The landing point is the uh, medial board of lat lateral mass that we can do, laminectomy and the facetectomy for the compressions. And if we, we want to, the contralateral approach is the possible. It's uh, the posterior decompression. Cervical is uh, from the uh, C6 and C7 laminectomy. And uh, we can expose cervical root and the final cervical root is a disc space. And we need to consider the instability and uh, the posterior uh, decompression and, uh, and the hypothesis uh, in case of uh, the open uh, posterior decompression. But uh, endoscope surgery that can uh, preserve posterior ligament complex. So uh, in case of uh, the widen, the laminectomy and the facetectomy, the, there was no instability and kyphosis post-operative two-year more follow. And the multiple level the stenosis, the patient have a three-level central stenosis. We can do with one skin port we can perform three level decompression. It's uh, the sliding technique for three level decompressions. The audience segment in the cervical is very short. So uh, that's why what we can do the sliding to the each the segment we can decompress with one skin port. At the post operative MRI shows the full decompression. And so we perform the, uh, the, the laminoplasty with the damage of a posterior the ligament complex. It's endoscopic decompressions. Pre and post operative MRI shows full decompression. And uh, the actual view post operative MRI shows the widen the spinal canal. And uh, the two year follow up x ray shows stable, no kyphosis, no instability. And the four level cervical decompressions with the two jumping, two sliding techniques. And the, the, we have performed the, the endoscopic surgery for high cervical region. So before the, we performed the, the, endo, uh, the high cervical region in case of uh, the rheumatoid panels, inflammatory and the uh, tumor in the high cervical region with the open surgery. In my case, I see two root decompressions. No instability, X-ray shows no instability on our flexion extensions. The endoscopic uh, placement, endoscopic system uh, between C1 to region first, and we can do C2 decompressions. It's a panos, the formation tissue, we can remove all. And uh, decompress it root. The pesca zone is uh, the, the landing point the, between the rectus capitis posterior major 
and the oblique uh, capital is inferior. Before the operation, so we need to uh, check the uh, vertebral artery course to uh, prevent damage of the vertebral artery. And the uh, case two, next case is C1 to myelopath due to the shoulder tumor. The MRI shows uh, the huge uh, anterior mass and uh, posterior uh, the complex of uh, uh, cervical spinal cord. And uh, X-ray shows no instability. The post-operate MRI shows the decompression quiet enough and the actual view also the widen spinal canal with uh, the uh, endoscopy, the uh, laminectomy without the fusion surgery. And uh, uh, we uh, are we were to focus on the endoscopic HDF. The young male patient have uh, the huge uh, central type, the disc C5 or 6. It's impossible uh, to approach the posterior uh, approach for decompression. So we had to anterior approach discectomy. You can uh, the landing endoscope system on the surface of anterior disc space, and we can do discectomy. It's very clear, very clear the endoscopic the, the view, and we can see the duraflization here after removal, PLL, and we can do implantation. And the final stage, we need to keep the drain to prevent post-operative hematoma. CT scan shows the drain. And uh, uh, we can use a calcium punch and the post-operative X-ray and the MRI shows the compression and the skin scar just the 1.5, 1.5 centimeter is enough. And uh, the one year follow, the x ray shows stable, no migration of uh, implantations. And we can use uh, endoscopic the system for HDF, just the uh, eight millimeter the diameter endoscopy. And we can use one to 35 millimeter case and punch and the drill. Uh, as I mentioned, the 10 degree lens angle is very important because we can watch the ipsy error don't go whatever joint more detail than the uh, wide lens angle. And uh, generally push the anterior organ without one finger okay. and uh, we can insert needle and the endoscope system and the different the skin scar uh, between the microscope and endoscopy. And uh, uh, male patient have right arm weakness and you can see the spinal cord high signal and the calcified the disc myelopathy. The first uh, we need to uh, reset the anterior osteophyte to create the pathway the, uh, to the uh, disc space. And then we need to remove, reset the uh, posterior osteophyte for decompression. And then finally, we have to implantation. Uh, post operate MRI shows the, the full decompression of a spinal cord. CT scan shows also good uh, uh, post-operative uh, decompression state. And uh, 
this video, after remove PLL, you can see dual pulsation before the implantation. And uh, it's a very interesting case. The patient have the anterior disc, the honeation disc, and the posterior the uh, buckling or uh, ligand flavor. We have to, I, I had to uh, perform the posterior decompression first and then anterior approach HDF at the same stage. Uh, I've been the Cairo twice. It's a photo in uh, 2016. As I mentioned, posterior decompression first and then HDF anterior approach. As we can see, the spinal cord the after the finish, the posterior, uh, posterior decompression. And uh, we can see dual pulsation with the uh, anterior approach before implantation. Post-operative MRI shows posterior decompression and anterior HDF. To widen the spinal cord, posterior decompression and anterior HDF. So uh, it's uh, a millimeter, the pico case, and we can see the posterior the drain and the anterior the drain. So we can do endoscope ADR also. As a dura, dura injury and uh, the root injury is uh, the the most the scariest moment in all the spinal operation. But we can do, we can seal in the dura with the taco seal, the fibrin patch. It's my paper about the, how to the manage the in case of uh, the durotomy during the operations. I think uh, the, the challenging is always uh, the scaleless moment always, but we have, uh, if we have a new weapon with a new idea, uh, we can overcome uh, this. The learning endoscopic uh, is not easy. Learning endoscope spine surgery is not easy uh, to uh, the, the surgeon, but uh, I think it's very rewarding and worthwhile.